Hi, I'm Kevin from uh, Affordable Water Treatment. I'm here today with Clyde from the main Radon Pro. Uh, we just installed the Repco Bubble Up Senior, which is the bigger unit of the two they offer. This one has a 15 gallon drawdown. The smaller one only has a 7 gallon drawdown. Uh, basically what it consists of is you have the in and out that goes back over to the bypass. Uh, it has an expansion tank that gets the tank to the pump in the tank to stop and start. There's a submersible pump in the tank that gives you constant pressure. Uh, normally all three of these handles are going to be going horizontal. You hear that noise, I get an outside faucet open to get the unit to stop and start. So normally these all these three will be horizontal. In an emergency you get them so they're all going vertical now the whole unit's bypassed. So normally when you have your down here looking all should be in horizontal. The water can't go up. So basically it's coming across, going through the big blue filter, which needs to be changed roughly once a year. It goes into the unit, gets aerated, and the treated water comes back out and goes back in to the house on the top of the bypass. Uh, every time you use 15 gallons of water, the float drops in here, which activates the blower and the solenoid, which lets it refill again. Normally you'll be running 60 to 65 pounds constant pressure when you're drawing water upstairs. Uh, Is that the pump we hear running now? Yeah, right now that's the pump. I said, I've got that outside faucet running pretty hard, so we're still getting just under 60 pounds constant pressure. Okay. If I if I crank this down a little bit, so it would be normally what you might be using upstairs. You probably see it, you know, go up to 65 or so. And when you shut the water off, it will build up to a usually between 70 and 75 pounds and then the pump will shut off. That's to refill that expansion tank. It takes usually about 20 seconds. Once it does shut off, I said it'll, when you open up a faucet, it'll draw down to approximately 50 pounds the pump will kick on again. Once it kicks on, it'll go back up and stay at 60, 65 pounds all the time you're using the water. That's good. That's good. What's the uh, what's the blower just came on? That's the blower that just came on. That's telling us that we ran 15 gallons of water outside. So kicked on the blower and opened the solenoid, so now this is refilling. There is a gauge here, it's hard to see on the video, but there's actually a uh, Flow button here. If you push this right button, it'll actually tell you how many gallons a minute it's filling. In this case, we're getting right around six gallons a minute it's filling at. So if you shut the water off, it should take you know, two and a half minutes or so to fill up and shut off again. Mm -hmm. The only time you're going to hear that blower running is when the machine is refilling. During the day, if you're not using water or anything like that, you shouldn't hear it running. The only thing you should hear would be the pump, if you clutch your toe or something like that. What's the approximate dimensions of that unit? And they're about 24 by 24. shut the outside faucet off, so this came up to 75 pounds and shut off. Now this is refilled, and they said it shouldn't be. Maybe another 30 seconds or so, it shouldn't come up and shut off. In case of emergency, if you didn't want to mess with the main bypass, there's two valves here on the back. One's, point, one's pointing in, one's pointing out. 
All you do is just turn them toward each other. And now the unit's bypassed. If you want to get it to stop running, you just unplug the, the two big cords, the yellow and the black. The yellow cord is the one that runs the blower and the solenoid, which is engaged when it's filling. The other one's the actual pump in the well in the tank here. It's a smashable pump well. And the smashable pump. I'm going to turn it back on until the thing is filling up. They okay, you can either bypass it there or here. This is the easiest way if there's a problem. For some reason, you get up in the morning, the pump was bad, you needed water, you didn't go to work. Just unplug the yellow and the black cord, turn these valves toward each other. At that point, you'll have straight well water along the street with you. I always make sure you at least have the water you had before I get here. And by law, even though you have a mitigation license, you also have to have a master plumber's license in order to fight this up. Uh, it has to be wired up by a master electrician, which Clyde is the main radon phone, which he's the one that did the wiring for it. Uh, Kevin, how long does the blower normally run when it comes on? As I said, it'll run until this recoups that 15 gallons that you used. So every time you use 15 gallons, that float drops. When the float drops, it kicks on the blower and kicks on the solenoid, and then it starts filling again. So say you was using five gallons a minute upstairs, and it was filling at five gallons a minute. You know, it might stay running steady until you're done using the water. Yeah. If you was using five gallons a minute upstairs and it was filling at eight gallons a minute, you know, it'll catch up with itself and shut off while you're using the water. But even though you draw 15 gallons off it, you still get over 40 gallons left. And the reason for that is it kicks on at 15, so if it's only filling at, say, four and you're drawing five, you still got that 40 gallons you can draw off them so you don't run out of water, which is why I like the big unit versus the junior. Because the junior there again, it starts every seven gallons. That only holds about 30 gallons. So you only got like 20 gallons that you can play with. And I said, I know in some cases with the juniors that people running outside faucets, they do run out of water because, you know, an outside faucet you can get eight, 10 gallons a minute of. And if you're only filling at five, you're going to run out eventually. So. But basically, on the, you know, on the average house, you'll never run out because you're always going to have that. I mean, you're starting with 55 gallons of water, so there isn't anything I can think of in the house, you know, shower, you know, doing a load of laundry, anything like that, you know, 20, 30 gallons is all you ever use at a time, on average. Okay. Do you have any questions, sir? I do not. All right. Let's get this thing to run. Okay. Let's keep on running. Okie doke.